politics now. Just two weeks after NBA All-Star Weekend, Indianapolis is ready for some football. Again, starting Thursday, the NFL Combine will take over downtown. News 8's Hernan Gutierrez joins us live from outside Lucas Oil Stadium. Hernan, you heard from Visit Indy about what this event means to the city. Tell us all about it this morning. Good morning, Jeremy. And yeah, well, the NFL Combine returns to the Circle City. This is the 37th year in a row that they're hosting it. And Visit Indy says with it comes a projected $10 million boost to the local economy. The tourism group also says about 40,000 people will come visit town over the four days that the event is going on. Also spending money at hotels, restaurants, and other local shops. The Combine is where NFL prospects work out in front of coaches and front office executives with the hopes of improving their chances in the upcoming NFL draft. Also returning this year is the Combine Experience. You can take part in some of the same tests the prospects will face themselves, like the 40-yard dash and the vertical jump. You can also win tickets to this year's draft in Detroit or next year's Super Bowl in New Orleans. Claire Clark with Visit Indy says sports tourism is what the city does best. We are a city that is welcoming, and that's attractive to uh, these big events like the NFL Combine. You know, when they come into the city, they see how Indianapolis hosts. They see how the local community rallies behind all of the conventions, all of the big sporting events. The Combine is already set to return for next year, 2025. Now, it's free to get into the fan experience and to the Combine itself, but you do need to download and register for the NFL One Pass app in order to reserve your spot. All of the action starts at Lucas Oil Thursday at 1 in the afternoon. Reporting downtown, I'm Hernan Gutierrez for WishTV, WishTV.com, or follow us on Facebook for updates.